Any ideas on how to create a robot? Just get a bunch of cords. Cords. And electricity. <coughs> By using our greatest tool of ours. Oh, now you're taking her, <laughs> her side of things <laughs> and reading from the screen. All right, teenagers, what are you going to say? Okay, I already answered. <laughs> Liz? <laughs> right, the, the girl with no name behind you. Bethany. Bethany. Coding? Coding? Okay. All right. Well, the, the point of the matter is, is that you use all of these things in order to create a robot. You'll even base people, you'll even look at people's actions, the way they walk, the way they talk. All right, what do you guys? You can use a bunch of metal to build That's right. That's right. We can do an endoskeleton. We can do an exoskeleton. Okay. What is endoskeleton and what does exoskeleton mean? Who knows? An exoskeleton is on the, uh, a skeleton on the outside and an endoskeleton is a skeleton on the outside. Okay. Now, the skeleton that's inside my body. Okay. Uh, endoskeleton. That's an endoskeleton, right? But what is a, an example of an exoskeleton? A bug. Very a good. Very good. Lobsters. What? A crab. Excellent. Excellent. Crabs. Exactly. And essentially what we can do is we can model our robots, okay, based on what we're trying to get it to do off of different biological sources. Biological sources meaning things that exist in nature, okay? <clears throat> there's one task that we're going to have our robot do, okay, but there's many, many different ways in which we can do that too, okay? If I walk to where it says USR, I can walk this way, right? Or I can just walk directly to it, right? Like this. Okay? I can also walk backwards. All right? But the point of the matter is, there's many ways to get to USR. Okay? Upstage right. Upstage right? Yeah, oh, USR well. is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, upstage right. Well, there you go. Okay? And these are the same kind of commands that you're essentially going to be using. These are the same kind of techniques that you're going to be using when you build your robot, okay? But you're going to have to essentially tell it exactly what to do, okay? Can you tell me what you did this morning? Can any of you tell me what you did this morning when you first woke, woke up? Um, what you do? I, I just stood up. You just stood up, okay? Well, that's, that's good. What did you do before you stood up? Very good. Okay. And what were you doing before you opened up your eyes? Sleeping. Very good. Okay. Robots follow the same actions, okay, but it's a step-by-step, -step, one thing at a time process, okay? So when I tell the robot to blow this whistle, okay, which this is a prize, by the way, which you guys will have an opportunity to win. Um, I want you to pass this whistle around. Okay, and look it over and tell me what the difference is between this whistle and any other whistle that you've seen. Okay? But the point of the matter is when I lift that whistle up to my face, okay, I'm doing multiple actions. I'm telling, my brain is telling my limbs, okay, first, this is what we're going to do. My body preps itself in order to make this happen. And I bring the whistle up to my face. And then what do I do? A blow, exactly, exactly, okay? But you, when you build a robot, you have to do this step by step by step by step, okay? One goal, many ways to achieve this. Move on, please. I can't find any difference. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I can find the difference. I can find the difference. Did I? No, you, you're, you're fine. Well, this, is, this is... Okay, sorry. Yeah, I think I go into who I am. Okay. So, who am I? Okay. Michael B. Ferber. Michael B. Ferber, very good. Okay. <laughs> I am a robot. No. Nice to meet you. All right. Not really. <laughs> My name is Michael B. Ferber. I like you guys. Okay. I'm curious about the world around me. Okay. And what we can achieve with robots. Okay. I think about things every day on how they work. I take them apart, I disassemble them, I destroy them, I create them, I build them, okay? Very, very basic things, okay? Now, I work for a company that does a lot of technology-type 
um, things, okay? The, the company is essentially a data center which stores much of the world's data inside it, okay? So, huh? The company is called MDT Host. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, I passed this around. What did you notice that was different about this whistle? There was a little um, jingle on it, and I don't remember really that. There are already music. There's always music. No, not the main. That's the main. And um, there was a, it was bigger than I've seen one, and it was just a little bit different. That's right. Different texture. What did you notice? It was different texture, and it felt like it had been molded. Like, well, I knew it was molded because every, everything is molded. Well, not everything is molded, but um. Well, we'll get back to that. I wanna, I wanna hear what she has to say. Um, I'm pretty sure you already said it. Okay. Um, at the beginning you said it was made by. Yes. And you were so right. Like see, it's like texture. Yeah. It's different that it way, isn't it? Yes. You notice that it didn't have any seams to it either, where you could open it oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I that too. Well, I was looking for the lines. And you said, and you said that it was molded, when in reality, this actually was printed on a single stream. Okay. Well, yeah. Right. There is a stream of plastic. Okay, a very long thread. Think of when you're doing, when, when you're looking at us. Anybody do any sewing? Okay? Oh, I sometimes oh. yeah. She makes okay. clothes. So you make excellent clothes, right? You use oh, thread, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Well, this, in essence, came from a single thread of plastic. Okay? Yeah, I, I, That's right. So they melt down the plastic? Melt down the plastic? Melt down, oh! Yeah. And what I'm going to do is, one of these weekends, I will give you a demonstration on how that robot will print this whistle. And I will print a whistle for every single one of you. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Oh my God. But today, I only have one whistle. All right? And I'm going to ask a question at the end, okay, and to see whether or not you're paying attention. And the first person to answer that question correctly gets this whistle. Okay? Yeah. Very simple. Now, let me ask you this, okay? If I'm printing like this, okay, in a spiral fashion, how did I get something that was, get something that rattles around in there? You put the, like, you, you make the ball first and then put it inside and then cover it up. That's one way of doing it. The way that I did it was I printed the ball at the same time that I printed the whistle. <laughs> And it was attached to a small thread of plastic that was at the base of the whistle itself. And I took a knife and I broke it loose. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. When you think along those lines, these are kind of the innovative approaches in order to create things like this. All right. Um, now, the data center, the stuff that I do for a living, okay, ranges... It essentially stores data that operates satellites around the world. Does everybody know what a satellite is? Yeah. Yes. Okay, what is a satellite? A satellite something that orbits. That's right. And in our case, could we consider a satellite to be a robot? Yes. Good, very good. Let me ask you this. Do you know what the biggest robot of them all is? Sure. Uh, Frankenstein? Think uh, much bigger. Think robot. much bigger. Come on. You've seen it go up over the years. Very good. A spaceship. The shuttle was the biggest robot. Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in? We're looking at the last five minutes. No Feel free to sit down. <clears throat> Robots are very, I mean, uh, the space shuttle was the most complex, largest robot on the planet up until its retirement, okay? Now you can go see it in the museum, all right? And its sole purpose, its sole purpose was to send people into outer space and bring them back. That's it, okay? Cool. All right? So when you think of a robot, all right, they can be extremely big, can't they? Yes. 
Okay. <clears throat> Think about this. When we look at when we look at the solar system, okay, and we've got Mars, we've got Jupiter, we've got Pluto, we've got Earth and stuff like that. Everything orbits around one another, right? All right. Isn't that another kind of robot? In a way? Doesn't it have sort of autonomous functions and stuff? It doesn't really think or anything like that. But it sort of orbits, okay? And it continues to do a task. It's time to end. Oh. Well, we will, uh, we will go ahead and end this for right now. Okay, I will get you guys to come back in if you're interested. All right? Yeah, they can do that. Um, and, uh, but right now, you've got to go with her and, I guess, spend 15 minutes uh, at church. Right, yeah. yeah. So once you come back, I will continue going on. All right? And we will get into some of the more fun.